All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21, it's all about the mayors today, man. Your boy Ronnie 2K is putting the information out there about who the next mayoral candidates are. That's that right, mayoral? The next candidate for mayor, uh, who they are. Uh, you know, they're going to let them talk, see what they're really about, and see if they're really about uh, supporting the community and all that good stuff. Also, Ronnie's talking about a couple of other things as far as rep goes and all that. And me, I'm just talking to y'all about some real life stuff, man. So if you don't do nothing else, make sure you like the video just because every like puts us closer to that also coveted 100K that we're trying to reach, man. Hopefully, we can get there by the end of the year. Um, I mean, and, I'm, and by the end of the year, I mean by the end of 2K21. Because uh, we're dropping the 2K heat every day of the week. 500 likes. I'm dropping a new jump shot today. NBA 2K Lab search. And we're going to have a stream for y'all if I have time. So make sure y'all do all that. And I'll be right back right after this. Hey, you, know! you make it to C25. That's OG status. OG I was told you could be anything. Just don't be average. Down bad, flat pockets. That shit made me sad. Start hustling nonstop. Don't plan on breaking that head. All right. So right off the bat, man, bro, this is going to bother me every single time, bro. Like, I don't even understand how that happens. But, you know, it is what it is. And watch this. Is it the right screen? Yes, we got the right screen. Sometimes I come in here and I do a whole lot of prep work. Some days, like I, like today, I had to do a lot of running around. I'm trying to find a graphics card. I'm trying to find a GTX 3060 or a 3080. I'm not going with the 3070 in between. I'm either going to go 3060 because I got a 2060 Super in my joint. So, I'm either going 3060 uh, you know, just a little upgrade on the low end. I'm going to go 3080 and big dick it. But I really think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for the 3080 Ti. They say it's supposed to have like 20, 20 gigs instead of the 30 gig. I mean, the 24 gigs that the, uh, that the 3090 has. And then, you know, I'll probably just go from there. Honestly, if the 3090s came down to about a grand, maybe even 1200. I might get it, but you know, it is what it is, man. Anyway, so that's why I got my little Falcons jacket i had to go up there incognito because i done been up there like every day this week bro and i bought a couple but like people kept buying them for me before i could even really do anything so you know how like how like people be like hey i buy that off you for 1200 it ain't scalping if somebody just offer right but you know it is what it is i also got hell i got an xbox uh now i'm supposed to be coming back this week bro i got him an xbox uh if he gets it before you know the next couple of days he gonna be playing on Xbox with me. Um, if he don't get it in the next couple of days, I'm gonna sell it on eBay or something for 800 or something. Or, or really, I'm probably gonna give away my S and then just use the X or something, make somebody's Christmas or something like that, bro. I don't know. It really just depends on what he uh what Anonymous does. So you know, waiting on him, he gonna be back and all that good stuff, man. And uh, up next, man, let's just talk about this real quick, bro. Ronnie 2K. Um, you know, just right into the news because I, I, I done talked about stuff that didn't even matter. And I know y'all like my tech talk, but you know it is what it is. Running 2K put out this tweet, bro, and he said the first mayor terms are nearing an end. Uh, crazy, right? I, I'm just gonna read it like him. First mayor terms are, are, are nearing an end. Crazy, right? Uh, this week we will announce the candidates for election for all affiliations. Um, who do you think should be? up for up as a candidate for the spot for each borough and you know like uh some people said you know like i said swante said yesterday dang y'all hand picking them of course they hand picking them and stuff man they have to hand pick them you can't have the community pick people that have somebody that's really toxic and stuff up there and then you get to vote on them so we get to pick them and we get to vote that's a very unlikely scenario that they're gonna do something like that but then he tweeted one one candidate for each affiliation is going to be a very high uh high level rep uh high level rep guy i thought it was there high rep level guy but it is what it is uh i want to build a platform for you guys who have really earned it by grinding you should support a you should support and vote uh for these guys if you're uh if you're one of them and stuff like that so that's, that's what we saying if you high rep you should vote for a high rep guy um and i think that's really important bro because you don't want you don't want people in the game that really don't play the game like why would i want a mayor that don't play the game like i get it they're content creators they do draw awareness to it and they do make it but if you're focused on your own content right and you're not out there campaigning and putting in the work like my guy shake is and stuff like that i'm not saying your content need to suffer but if you ain't out there pounding the pavement finding the things in the game and being a voice for the community and actually talking about this stuff and all that good stuff bro like really like what are you what are we really doing you understand what i'm saying like you you have to you gotta be doing work for the people may supposed to be a man for the people like you got some people that's gonna be like tycino where they killing it as far as you know being a representative then you got guys like shake who gonna be the people's champ it don't matter what nobody say he gonna do what he gotta do and try to uh really 
really com campaign for the people and stuff like this. So, you know, I, I feel like that's the way to go right there, bro. And like I said, hate it or love it, you know, um, it is, I mean, you know, it is what it is. But speaking of hate it or love it, the underdog's on top, and I'm gonna shine, I'm gonna fire gas until my heart stops. And, and just straight smoke the shot, but it is what it is. Uh, speaking of hate it or love it, uh, the, the mayor candidates for the uh, West Side Wildcats are uh, you got Troy Dan, obviously, is the uh, is the incumbent, is the incumbent. I, I don't even know what I don't do politics and stuff like that. Look at this dude gonna leave me wide open in the corner and think I ain't gonna fight that gas. But hold on, hold on, let's think. But you say, hey, what you gonna do with the rock if you get? I'm gonna do like what a crackhead do, fight up. What are you talking about? Fight that gas. That's what I do. But anyway, hate it or love it. Um, you know, we got West Side Wildcats. We got Braun Don't Lose, Poor Boy Sin, which is a high rep and somebody that really plays the game. And I really feel like somebody that can really speak for the game. And then we got the game. We know the game play because uh, he be out there playing. So I, I had done a whole little funny spoof with Starlito Buttermilk talking to the game. And uh, I couldn't find the footage of where I had the game. I was going to be like, game, you're going to boost your way into, into being the mayor. You're going to stuff the ballot box and stuff. I can't find the footage of me out there with the game, though, bro. It's... Ah! But anyway, I mean, the game. Is it true that you're going to start to, to stuff the ballot box and try to win the win the match? Is it going? You going to try to win the mayorship and it's like stuff? It, it didn't matter. But anyway, let's just hear what they're talking about. Feel that Troyden has done a five out of five job. We'll start with you, Brando Lewis, as one of the top rep guys. Hey, Brian, well, keep, I mean, keep it keep it keep it one hundred too, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I feel like you haven't really did anything. You're always on my team. Exactly. You're on like Roblox, nice. Roblox or whatever. He said, Ro I don't even know who you are. Who are you? <laughs> Yeah, we don't lose. Brian don't lose is somebody that's in the park heavy. You know, everybody starts from the bottom and comes up, but he's been putting in work, man. And like, I, I don't, these, these other guys, bro, other than Ticino, I don't see these guys, bro. Has all the, all you guys, I don't really see you guys out there. I mean, I, the only person I really see is Ticino, and I'm no offense. I feel like Ticino carried you in that uh, 2v2. Damn! Oh my god. Damn! Uh, Damn. Uh, Damn. Uh, I see you keep it real there, this motherfucker around here, boy. About. I don't even know. So anyway, like we were saying, like that's what the game was talking about. They talking about as far as, as far as how, you know, like people don't really be out there. And that's something that I was kind of, that's a sentiment that I was kind of echoing yesterday. I was like, Shake be out there. Y'all seen Shake in my video, so y'all know Shake be out there. I play with him all the time. The dude invites me every day. Oh, he got him leaning fire gas, boy. Trays up, splash down. Hey, look, I get it. You, but Shake be in the wreck a lot. He's on the scene a lot. He's doing videos. He's doing the top 10. The dude had four kids, I mean, three kids in like a year. And like all this stuff, bro, come on, man. Shake is out there doing as much work as anybody else. He is playing the game and he is out there. Now he don't stream it like that. But just like you said, you don't be seeing grinding out there like that. Like not to say they're not playing the game. Obviously they're playing the game, but you don't see him really on the scene like you see these other guys, man. That's all. That's all people trying to say. Like, you, we want the mayor to be kind of visible. Other than Tassino, you really don't see them guys on the scene. And Shake streams as much as he can. He was streaming on the 2K channel the other day and all that stuff. And like I said, I play with him all the time. I can attest to how much he play. But you know, it just is what it is. Like I said, grinding and Troy, and they might not be out there as much, man. I'm just saying. This is what this ain't me saying, and this is what they saying. Are they lying? They just hate. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But uh, like I said, for the next mayor joint, uh, you know, we got Ronnie 2K out here talking. And he talking to Stax Montana, um, my guy, Bohemian Buckets. Y'all know this, my guy, because he in the intro. And, um, and uh, you know, Tassino and then Bash, man. Let's see what, what they're talking about right here with Tassino. The East do not win Rival Weekend. Do you think that your mayorship should be very in jeopardy? Ooh, good because question. The voting will happen the I'm gonna, day I'm gonna after be, I'm gonna be Day shit. Weekend. I'm gonna be shut up honest with you. If the beasts don't win rival day, if we do not come out on top, I should not be mayor. Bam! Wow. Because I, I, I have put my heart, my soul, my I put everything into this and I, and I'm very confident we're gonna win. And if we don't win this, all my talk is for nothing, so amazing. All right. Well you guys heard him. He is that's now a, that's a big proclamation the right there. Rival weekend. And if he does not, he is open to being subject to one of the other candidates taking this spot.
So he's saying he shouldn't be mayor, but like if you know how numbers work, it's gonna be hard for them to win Rival Day weekend, right? Because let me, I'm gonna explain it to you. Because if you know how numbers work, you know that it's gonna be hard. Like I don't know if they're gonna be able to use the points that they accrued toward the Rival Day joint and all of that stuff. But let's just say, like if they get to use the points that they've accrued already, then they probably can win Rival Day weekend. If they can't use those points, it's gonna be really difficult for them. And let me tell you why. Because the beast of the East probably accounts for like two thirds of the 2K community, right? now two-thirds of the 2k community probably is is beast it's just like it was with sunset right sunset always had the most people so because sunset had more people than rivet and more people like okay rivet had more better play sunset had the best players but rivet had more better players. so like you had the top tier players in sunset right boom but after that top tier it was like garbage right it was garbage tier that's why we went to sunset to play rivet had more better players you can't even play in old town right so because of that sunset had the most players so they had the most players that could get beaten so that you can't play yourself so on rival day sunset guys was really looking around trying to find people to play while rivet city was just whooping ass so that's just how that worked. Like we we never had a shortage of games, and we could always stay ahead because we didn't have to say. So you can't play yourself on rival day. Yes, having the most people, you're gonna stay ahead. So that's what I'm saying. If they use the points that's already accrued, they have they have an excellent chance to win. But if it just goes off of how many games you win and points like that, it's gonna be tough for for um it's gonna be tough for uh, the East Beast of the East to win just because they they have they they I I, I feel like they account for two thirds. Of, uh, of what the community is on the thing. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the description. That's just how numbers work though. Like you can't play yourself. So you're gonna, you're going to get fewer games and every affiliation is gonna get more games against you. And it's, it's gonna be kind of tough. Now, it could be an inverse effect where they can, you guys got more people so you can scour the city and invade everybody and just bust everybody ass. But I, I don't know if that's how that's gonna happen. So we gonna see. And uh, last but not least, Ronnie talks about the doggone what you call it, man. He says uh, the the rep uh, put in another change this morning to make park and rec rep more equitable. Ooh, that's good. So hopefully we get more park rep and more rec rep. rep. That's what I like to hear. I don't like to hear stuff going down. Continue to monitor. It, to monitor. So send. So send thoughts. Uh, letting us know if you're closer if it's closer to equal happy game and that's dope right there bro anytime them guys try to help us have an enjoyable uh you know enjoyable gaming experience man i'm always for it hopefully it is more and i'm gonna fire that gas bro look 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 these four whites got to stop bro look this is obviously a green that i timed perfectly and it says slightly early, but I get the animation. Like, come on, bro. Can we do something with these? If you do a full white animation and that, and you get that, I'm not mad because you got the animation at the same time. But let me know this before we go. How many games have y'all played lately where it feels like the other team hit every white that they shot and then hit any greens, and then you guys had to green every single shot? And uh, if you didn't, you was going to miss it. Let me know that. And uh, like I said, bro, I had something else to talk to y'all about how... Um, one of the life philosophies that I got, how hate and love is the same emotion. But, uh, you know, I, I ain't got time for it because it's going to take a minute. But the synopsis is hate and love are the same emotion um, in that they are both the baseline emotion is obsession. And when you obsess with something and you associated with positive feelings, that's that's what we perceive as love. And when you obsess with something and you associated with negative feelings, that's what we perceive as hate. And that's why you got guys like real dudes in the you know, real dudes in the world, and then they be like, yo, I ain't got time to be hating on nobody because I can't be obsessing over something that makes me feel negatively, but I can love it. Even like, hey, man, man, yeah, you know, Jay, it's not really because you know your kids, you don't love your kids, you're not you obsessed with your kids, you're obsessed with their well-being. You're obsessed with their education. You're obsessed with them doing stuff. Same thing with your parents. You're obsessed with their well-being. You want them to be good. You want them to be taken care of and stuff like that. So we are obsessed. There's different levels of obsession, obviously. It's not like I'm going to I'm gonna kill you, chick, if you do this obsession. It ain't that. It's just like I want to make sure you're taken care of. Like I love this game. I'm obsessed with the game. But you can also be obsessed with something and not love it or hate it. I'm obsessed with perfection right but i don't love or hate perfection and stuff like that so it's hard to explain but you know that was just something that i that i was just throwing out there hate and love really the same emotion this baseline obsession and then it's just if you take it negative or positive you know that's what you get that's how you get uh either love or hate because let's think about it the dudes that are your your biggest fans are your biggest hate like solo Minati say your biggest fans are your haters like they dare to dislike the video before it even start like that's crazy right so you gotta be obsessed and you really, you know what I'm saying? You really are obsessed 
but you just associated with negative feelings. And it could be because I was addicted to you in the past. It could be because I ignored you somewhere. It could be because you were one of 30,000 messages that I got in my inbox and I just can't answer them all. And you know what I'm saying? It could have been any of that stuff. Like I, I, I could have been no reason at all. It could be because I'm 6'4", 225, you know, ripped the shreds and just pretty as hell with a luscious head of hair at 95 years old. It could be anything why people would hate you. But yeah, I feel like y'all let me know what y'all think about that. Hate and love is really just obsession. And then it's just mixed with another emotion. So when you add, you know, what makes it hate is the, it, what is is the anger that surrounds it all what makes it love is the positive feelings that you that you have uh around it i don't know it's just something that i was thinking about man i thought about it and i woke up this morning i was like damn that's profound it is what it is man i'm out of town next time y'all y'all let me know what you're thinking until next time it's your boy jay he's the aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's champ guys please.